on board the Jaguar then here in Barcelona. Let's take a look. The long, gently undulating straight down towards turn one. 190 miles an hour. Move to the middle. It's slightly less bumpy, but be on the left-hand side. And you can break amazingly late for some reason. Down to just 75. Try to catch the curb on the inside. De La Rosa just missing it there. And you're into turn three. You should be able to take this almost flat out. Oh, and the pussycat wagging its tail. Now he needs to move to the white line on the outside. Ready for turn four. 175 just before breaking. 75 through the middle. Tends to be a little bit of bouncing and bumping through there. He's working hard on the steering wheel and catapult down into turn five. Break slightly earlier because of the downhill. Once again, not quite connecting up with that apex. A long sweeping left-hander then. Try to straighten it out as you go into the foot of the hill for seven. You can hear the misfiring as the traction control cuts in. Up the hill, 155 camps are. 135 through the middle. Look for the curb on the outside and gently take the car over to the right-hand side. Over 180 miles an hour once again. Brake very late. You've got to shift down five gears. Just 50 through the apex. Try to stay to the inside. Once again, the traction control helping the car launch towards turn 11. 60 through the centre. You can't get on the throttle as early as you want. You have to be patient. It's too bumpy initially. Now a sweeping right-hander through 12. A big confidence lift there for De La Rosa. And the final great corner. 135 through the middle. Very heavy on the steering. Not much space on the exit. Over the start finish line now.